So the easiest way to apply for art and design um, for any of those uh, areas and to find out more information is just to go to our website and that's at art.nku.edu. Really easy to find. So this is the art.nku.edu website. And uh, at the top, you'll see we've got some latest art news, but what's really important here is um, uh, the Supply Now button and uh, art scholarships, and then uh, a quick look at all of the different undergraduate majors that we offer. Um, we've just launched our animation program. We have our general studio arts uh, degree. Um, so if you're just interested in a lot of uh, in the breadth and taking in lots of different uh, art practices, that's a, a great degree option that a lot of our students explore. And then if you want to get more specific, we have our art education, art history, drawing, integrative media, where you mix two uh, different areas together, mediums together, um, new media art, painting, uh, photography, uh, pre-art therapy, spatial arts, and uh, again, visual communication design. We also offer minors in art history, photography, spatial arts, and studio arts. And uh, we have other areas that support our larger mission within these degrees as well, our foundations program, uh, printmaking, art appreciation, and of course our uh, fantastic uh, NKU art galleries. And then if you are interested in coming to take a visit as a student and to follow a student uh, along in a day in the life of what it's like to be a SOTA student, um, we have these shadow visit opportunities. Um, so uh, right here, you can book a shadow visit. This will take you into uh, to an email where you can designate uh, some days that might work well. Uh, generally, we, we schedule those uh, any Monday through Thursday. We'll provide lunch to you, uh, for you, and you'll get to follow a, a student along and whether it's animation or painting or um, ceramics, uh, you'll get to see what it's like uh, to be in those classes and to get a, a firsthand ex experience when it's like to be a student at NKU. So our students uh, uh, in visual and art and design um, are not required to uh, audition or have a portfolio. But if you do have a portfolio, I recommend that you apply for one of our scholarships. Um, I'm gonna just click on apply now. And this takes us to another screen. So you've got um, step one for all students. You want, you need to apply. Uh, we've got a few different options. If you're an international student or a transfer student, there's a slightly different application process. Um, so these links will take you there. And then if you have a portfolio, I also recommend that you um, explore our scholarship process um, for these, uh, for your portfolio. This is a merit-based uh, portfolio. We give out uh, uh, two um, half tuition scholarships uh, to incoming students, as well as uh, multiple diversity scholarships for incoming students. And these are all merit-based, so they're based on your uh, on student's portfolio. So I encourage you to explore those. Uh, you just, uh, it's really easy, click on these buttons uh, to explore those art scholarships. But for now, I'm gonna just click on apply now. So you can sort of see the process here. This takes you to the general university page uh, for, applica uh, for applications. And you just keep hitting apply now. And it's gonna bring you into a page where you'll set up uh, your application, uh, set up your account and uh, fill out uh, information, your address, um, your academic information, uh, and then also your interest. And if you're interested in art and design, uh, you should look for studio arts. Uh, that's how we're listed in the program. Uh, we have a studio arts BA um, or studio arts BS, and that's specifically for a photography degree. So those are the options that you can look for, as well as our visual communication design uh, BA. So that's where most students will start out, and those were well, those will be those uh, areas of interest that you would be selecting from. And in terms of our art scholarships, uh, I'll bring you to our art scholarships uh, web page. For uh, incoming students, um, we'd like to see 10 to 15 pieces of artwork. Um, and we'd like for you to put that together in a PDF. Uh, and then uh, there are very clear directions on this website here on how to put together. If you need uh, instructions on how to put the PDF together, you can click here. And there's simple uh, uh, directions there. Um, some general FAQs as well, questions you might have. Um, generally, they're gonna be answered there, but if you ever run into any um, issues or are not sure, you're more than welcome to reach out to me, uh, Brad McCombs, the Visual Arts Program Head. 
um, or to Paige Weidman, who helps run our scholarship process. And so that contact information is uh, down here as well. And then when you're ready, when you have your portfolio uh, together and you've created that PDF, uh, then you click here and uh, you can begin that application process uh, for the scholarship. So it's fairly easy to figure out, but just, just pay, uh, pay some uh, uh, close attention to some of the details on how to set up that PDF and be sure that you have between 10 and 15 artworks.